Thank you. And as the first of the retailers to come up here, um, I should first of all apologise for those who can't understand the Tasmanian accent. <laughs> um, I don't know if Kerry has subtitles, but if she doesn't, for future paid. A number of the points that have been made earlier around digital, around access to speedy information on consumption, that's what we're actually going to talk about as a retailer. It's not important just for the customer, it's actually important and beneficial for the retailer as well. And if we can do it right, both parties benefit. So what we're going to go through is the Tasmanian perspective. Tasmania is an interesting state. It has some unique quirks. It is probably some of the poorest housing stock in the country. It has a very low income level, low access to facilities, amenities, etc. It's a really challenging market to be a retailer. And a retailer can't function well in Tasmania without the support of its customer base and the social um, advocacy groups. So we've worked really close with them. And what we're actually going to talk about seems strange because we're talking about a pay-as-you-go product. Tasmania has a unique love for pay-as-you-go. This is a 21-year-old product relying on a meter and a card that you can only go to certain outlets to top up. So we've looked at that. Doesn't work for anyone any longer. Doesn't work for customers. Doesn't work for us as a retailer. And it's outmoded. Technology no longer fit for purpose. Smartphones, digital access is really, really important and growing. So what we've actually done is develop a product which takes smartphone technology with the power of choice reforms using an advanced meter and actually turn them into a daily balance effectively so you get a daily bill. Customer will have a daily bill and can actually see their consumption in half hourly periods for the prior day, prior week, prior month. So that's what we're actually about. That creates a number of challenges, not least around regulations, which insists we send customers bills of four pages in length with information no one understands and which they can't remember. None of that actually helps manage consumption, doesn't help a retailer manage inbound calls, doesn't help anyone. So we've actually taken a different approach. And what we've actually done is look at how we can actually change the relationship. So page go becomes the digital mechanism for actually viewing your consumption in near real time, as real time as we can possibly make it. It takes away the need for three monthly bills. You actually have a daily balance. We actually start to turn there into a means to communicate. Previously, you would go to the outlet, you top up your card at the servo, you'd never talk to the retailer. We couldn't send you notifications, we couldn't keep in contact with you. What this enables us to do is send alerts. So we can proactively send alerts to customers saying, your consumption is spiked, is there something happening? And be proactive with that message. So this has been a trial which you've actually undertaken. I think in Tasmania we were the first entity to take an app to public accounts committee, and we actually had members of parliament viewing the app and looking at the app in public accounts, which was quite unique. So at a practical level, what information are we actually giving a customer? So on their phone, on their iPad, we'll also have it through a computer. You can actually see your balance. We're turning it into how many days of consumption do you actually have left based on how much you've been consuming over a period. You've got real time. This is how much you've got left. Bill shock, gone. The other feature that's new compared to the original page you go, you cannot self-disconnect. Current product, customers can self-disconnect. They can choose not to make payment. The meter will use up all the available credit, and they're without power. As a retailer, we're not even aware on occasion that they're without power. That's not suitable for anybody. It's not what we want to do. It's not what we're about as a retailer. So there is no way going forward that those customers can actually self-disconnect. There'll be no means to. What we'll actually be able to do is get them onto a successful YES program, which is our program that looks after those customers who are in difficulty. The other interesting thing about pay as you go, there's a misconception that pay as you go is only used by those with low income levels. In Tasmania, bizarrely, it's not. Pay as you go is spread throughout the community, whether it's a university lecture, it's a second home, it's a student, it's somebody in low income. We actually have a really broad cross section of customers in pay as you go. And that's actually something unique about it. And we want to actually use pay as you go for all customers. So one of the other things we're actually doing, this will be a regulated product. 
You will not be going in a market contract. We want this available to all customers. Very different. It's not going to be based on a contract. It'll be part of Tasmania's regulated standing offer product suite available to any customer. Now, again, that's a big difference. We're working that through with the regulator down there now, but this will be available to all Tasmanian residential customers. That's our target market. In terms of what you can see, information is actually meaningful. Again, this was developed through research with customers, through interaction with the vulnerable customer group that we have. What do people want to see? What would help them manage? It all quite, sounds quite logical and looks logical when you think about it. And when we actually started developing, we did kind of go, why has nobody done this before? It's actually not that complicated. The feedback we've had from trial participants has been exceedingly positive. And we can actually track what they looked at. So we can see what screens they valued, what information they like. The other real positive down at the bottom is we identified the more frequently they looked, the greater the chance of remaining in credit. So over 95% of trial participants during the trial actually remained in credit for the whole period. Didn't go into arrears. They could go into arrears. They chose not to. The information to stay out of arrears. Now, we've also taken that research and validated it through a vulnerable customer group. Our vulnerable customer group does home visits. We do case management. So those customers who are currently in strife and need our help, we actually case manage them. They have a dedicated case resource. We do home visits. So with having the app, we can actually see the customer's consumption changes and actually proactively manage the implications. We do an outbound call. We arrange a visit. We talk to them. So from that, you can actually see where there was an intervention where well, you talked about consumption, where well, you educated around how to use your power more effectively and efficiently, there's a much better outcome. Now, what that does, apart from stopping people getting into debt, it reduces stress. And having done home visits, I can actually see the stress become less once you've taken a customer through. So all of this is about providing customers with the information and the tools to actually change their behavior. And it makes commercial sense as a retailer as well to do this. Thank you.